half of new cars come with all-wheel drive, but drivers beware. Consumer Reports explains not all all-wheel drive vehicles are the same, and you might not even need it. Carly Stevenson recently bought this 2018 Mazda CX-5 for her growing family. I don't want quite as much room as an SUV, but I needed something bigger than a car. She says all-wheel drive was a must. Living in Missouri, you can get all the seasons at once. If you want all-wheel drive for that sense of security, safety and peace of mind. Consumer Report says you should know not all vehicles with all-wheel drive are the same. For example, Subaru's AWD system always directs at least some of the engine's power to the rear, and it can direct a larger amount if needed. And that is not the case for every all-wheel drive vehicle. There are other kind of more cost-effective ways or different ways of doing this where maybe the car is primarily driven as you know, front wheel drive, the front wheels are getting most of the power all the time, and then only in certain situations will it send power to the rear wheels. Yes, there are more all wheel drive cars on the road nowadays. Thanks to technology, this transfer of power happens with a mechanical drive shaft running the length of the car. But electric vehicles and some hybrids utilize individual motors at each axle with no physical connection between them. These systems just allow all-wheel drive to almost be implemented easier in a vehicle. With a hybrid vehicle, like from Toyota, for example, they take an electric motor and they just put it at the rear and that's what's giving you all-wheel drive. So they really don't have to change much from the regular car to enable all-wheel drive. By the way, all passenger vehicles sold in the United States starting with the 2012 model year come equipped with electronic stability control, which along with traction control significantly improves road holding capabilities regardless of the drive wheels. So, who really needs all-wheel drive? It's people who really live in snowy areas, who see a lot of slippery road conditions, or they live at the bottom of a steep driveway that is often wet or snowy or covered in ice. And remember, all-wheel drive is not a replacement for good tires. And in really snowy conditions, that also means you might want to invest in snow tires. Poor tires on an all-wheel drive car will still struggle to provide enough grip on slippery roads.